Hi, Ryan from Seagull.com going over the longboard setup today. Seagull's longboard is just 25 pounds. We're going to unpack now. Here's your hole and our paddle and our piston pump along with our accessories. First step is to unroll your board. And we'll locate the recessed one-way valve at the nose of your board. You want to take off the protective cap and ensure the poppet inside is in the up position. What we do is depress it in a quarter turn to the left and it'll pop up. That'll make it a one-way valve. Included with your board is a high-pressure piston pump. Setup of the pump is easy. On the top we'll see inflate with an arrow pointing. We'll simply connect our hose so it's firm. The pump has an attachment for the recess valve. And what we'll do is simply push in and turn to the right until it's fully seated. Wow, we're almost there. When you think you're up to 12 PSI, what you'll do is get your pressure gauge and check for proper inflation. Just like the hose, we'll sit it in and turn a quarter turn. As you can see, the pressure gauge now reads 12 PSI. As an option, we have a high pressure electric turbo pump. It's a two-stage pumping system. It's really efficient and real high tech. We can start by attaching our hose. Here we already have the number one adapter on the other end of the hose. And we'll place it firmly into our valve. Set our dial to 12 PSI, which is optimal for the longboard. And simply push the on button. We'll return our cap, making sure the leash is not in the threads. And we'll put together our three-part stand-up paddleboard paddle. If you've purchased the Pro Package, we'll now go over how to set up your longboard as a sit-atop kayak. Connect to the D-rings. your strap, you'll lace th through the sit through the D-rings behind the seat, across the bottom cushion, if you plan to utilize your board for a sit atop kayak, you'll have a four part kayak paddle. Here we have three holes. This is for feathering. If you're new to the sport, it's always best to pick the middle. This allows the blades to be parallel. The last step, flip the board over. You can remove Skeg protectors, save these for the pack up. We'll insert our removable skeg. Take out the retaining clip, slide it with the blade to the front of the board, slide it in the track all the way back, and your retaining clip will go in the slot provided and push in until you hear it click. It's secure, and uh, we're ready to go out in the water. I've put on my paddle vest, now I'm ready to grab the carrying handle and head out into the water. Okay. Go out into knee deep water to prevent your skeg from grounding. 
it's always good to know your weather conditions. Your body will act as a sail, so be careful not to venture too far downwind. After your paddle, you can remove the skeg on the water. After drying off the board, to deflate, I'll remove the outer valve cap and press the valve stem with a quarter turn to the right. You can roll tightly from the bottom, replacing the skeg protectors as you go. Close the outer valve cap and place your board in the carrying bag.